a visionary entrepreneur, life sciences industry innovator, and dedicated philanthropist. William Bill Cook is honored posthumously with the SIR Foundation's Leaders in Innovation Award. A 1953 biology major at Northwestern University, Bill had plans to attend medical school, but the U.S. Army had other ideas. Bill was drafted and served a two-year stint as a surgical technician. Back in civilian life, Bill married his wife, Gail, and a few years later, their son, Carl, was born. In 1963, the Cook family moved to Bloomington, Indiana, where Bill and Gail started a medical equipment company in the spare bedroom of their apartment. Their $1,500 investment covered the costs of a blowtorch, soldering iron, and plastic tubing to make catheters. Later that year, Bill was exhibiting his products at the annual meeting of the Radiological Society of North America. His wire guides, catheter tubing, catheterization sets, and blowtorch attracted the attention of a Dr. Charles Daughter. Daughter asked to borrow Bill's blowtorch and some Teflon tubing. Bill agreed. The next morning, Bill returned to find 10 beautifully formed catheters that he sold for $10 a piece. Daughter began sending unique product concepts to Bill, who quickly custom fabricated the devices to Daughter's specifications. That chance meeting at the exhibit table marked the beginning of one of radiology's most successful academic industrial partnerships helping to create the field of interventional radiology and laying the groundwork for the world's first angioplasty. Over the years, Bill collaborated with many of the early pioneers of interventional radiology. He had the vision to see what could be while the rest of the world saw things as they were. His catheter, along with numerous other industry-leading Cook products, enabled the many innovative, minimally invasive therapies that revolutionized medicine. His company would go on to make thousands of medical devices, including heart stents, urological equipment, and living tissue transplants that saved millions of lives. The medical equipment company started in a spare room at home, became the foundation for the global multi-billion dollar Cook Group the world's largest family-owned medical device manufacturer. Along the way, Bill became one of the richest people in America, but he continued to live a simple life with Gail in the modest home they bought in 1967. The Cooks supported a variety of philanthropic causes and are credited with saving at least 57 historic structures in Indiana and elsewhere. We all owe Bill Cook a deep note of thanks for his innovative spirit, hard work, and contribution to IR. Bill was an incredible person, and I was really fortunate to have had his friendship and acquaintance over the years. He put his financial resources and energy behind anything he believed in, and fortunately, I was one of those people. He committed a lot of resources to us here in South Florida, to the Institute, and to many of the projects that we have. He was an incredible person, and we were fortunate to have known him during his lifetime. I'm so glad to be able to help honor Bill Cook today. Bill was a very special personal friend in a way that you don't know today for IR and SIR for many interventional radiologists. He came along at a time where, SIR, where IR was just beginning to grow, and Bill grasped what we were doing immediately. He, along with our early interventional radiologists, help develop many of the tools that you use today. Bill would truly make anything. He, we'd call him up and say, gosh, we've got a tough case tomorrow. We need a special tool that's never been made. Can you help us? And he'd say, got it. He'd build it, autoclave it, ship it up to Indianapolis in his private plane by the next day. He was one of a kind, a true character, and I am glad to be able to honor him today. Those of you who knew Bill Cook well, recognized that his persona was larger than life. He loved his family, he loved life, he loved his company, and he loved interventional radiology. Bill's early work with interventional radiology in its infancy and his support of the early interventional radiology pioneers was legendary. He was the first non-physician to win the SIR gold medal in 1999, and he valued this honor 
more than any other of the many, many honors he received. This was because it was given to him by the physicians he served. We all miss Bill. So very often, Bill would come into my office and I'd have new products and prototypes that would be on the desk. And it was, uh, it, it always sparked a discussion and he loved those discussions. And when he would turn around and leave the office, he would always, always stop at the door and he would turn and say two words, what's next? A real tribute to what he's all about. Please give a warm welcome to Carl Cook accepting the SIR Foundation's Leaders in Innovation Award on behalf of his father, Bill Cook.